Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over my final thoughts on the 2021 Toyota Prius, and well, whether or not you should get one. So let's start things off with the walk around portion, and then we'll take it out and drive it. So first off, we'll kind of go over some exterior elements. Again, still love this blue color. If you get a Prius, get a crazy color like this, because yeah, I think it's worth it, right? This is kind of like a car that flies under the radar, but if you get a bright color, it kind of brings things out a little bit. And then coming here to the lights, I've actually really liked the lights. They're really bright at night uh, with this LED setup and so yeah no complaints there and then the fog lights work great as well i've loved the parking sensors notice you've got it here on the side and then also um you guys can see right there you've got it on the very side as well They've been amazing, especially pulling into this driveway. You guys know I have a 2021 TRX, which is a really wide truck and it takes up quite a bit of space in the driveway. So I have to get the Prius pretty close to the wall to be able to fit them next to each other. And the parking sensors have been great so that I obviously don't hit against anything because it gives you a little warning. So that's been a huge plus. And then coming to the tire and wheel setup, they may not be the coolest looking, but they're really practical. So ride quality is great with these. And we'll talk about that more when we actually drive the car. And also when you have smaller wheels and tires, you do get, it helps with uh, getting better fuel economy. So that's been a huge plus. Coming to the mirrors. Again, this has blind spot monitoring, which is great. Obviously that's a nice added layer of safety tech. And then coming to the rear hatch, which I think it's in, yep, it's in the middle here. So it's just hydraulic. Storage space is great in here. You guys know that uh, my dog Zorro, he is a German Shepherd Husky mix. He's about 85, 90 pounds. He's a pretty big dog. But the cool thing is if he lays down back here, he can actually fit here in the rear. Obviously got to have the uh, cargo cover tucked back because if I pull this over, then it's not leaving him a ton of space. But Storage space in here has been great. And if you're a dog person like me, then well, you can fit a larger size dog back here. No problem whatsoever. So I guess it's a, we're gonna call this Zorro approved. <laughs> um, something else, these grab handles that manufacturers put here are pretty much worthless. Like you can't close it that way. You kind of can, but then you have to like push a little bit on the outside. I love the uh, taillights here. The LEDs here that turn on at night definitely look cool. Now popping into the back, so the space back here is actually pretty good from a legroom perspective, which I'll actually uh, kind of pop in here. Doo -doo -doo. So I'm 5'11", if you guys don't know, and I fit back here great and legroom as well. Something that I've also liked, right? Taking friends around and all that kind of stuff. It's been great. And if they want to charge their phones, they've got those that they can charge their devices with. And of course, it's got the armrest with the cup holders, which is always a huge plus for me, uh, just so that they don't randomly put their drinks anywhere else. So back seating area has also been really solid, really practical. I mean, it's not a huge car, but it still has a ton of space in the back seating area. Now, we've got to pop over to the front. I'm getting a workout and it's like 100 degrees outside. So I'm doing a lot for you guys. Now coming to the front, I love how simplistic everything is with the Prius and how all of the controls are in the normal places so it's easy to find stuff. And then the seats have been really comfortable to sit in. Really nice leather so they're really nice and smooth. Uh, but on top of that, you can see that they're actually pretty soft as well. They are manually adjustable, which I guess is a little bit of a downside, but it's not huge. Now, I haven't used the parking assistance to be honest, but I mean... I never use that in any vehicle. That's just personal preference. It's cool that it has it though. Stability control, you guys can remember, I turned that off for the fuel economy video, which was kind of funny. And let's actually pop all the way in. Something that's also cool, I like how it sounds when everything shuts. Just, it sounds solid. Like you can tell that it's very well built. So steering wheel setup. I have liked the steering wheel in the Prius. Smooth leather all around. And then again, the controls are in easy to find places here with the steering wheel, which is a huge plus for me and then you guys can see you've got a pretty normal setup like everything's normal in this car so it's easy to find controls now this is something that some people might not like is how you have the gauge cluster here off to the side i thought i wouldn't like it but it actually works really well it's really easy to kind of get used to so obviously people are used to looking here but the nice thing is this has a heads up display which hopefully Oh, I turned on the windshield wiper, but you guys can see the heads-up display right then. Let me turn off the windshield wiper now. So it's got a heads-up display, but then you also have the speedometer right here. And so I'm, again, 5'11", and here's roughly my viewpoint. You can see that it's right in your line of sight with both of them. And so it's really easy to get used to. I actually really like it overall. Something else that I like feature-wise is how it gives you, uh, after, let me see if it'll do it. We didn't drive it all. Oh yeah, since we didn't drive, it's not gonna give us a rating. So normally if you actually take this out and drive it, it gives you like a rating based on how you drove. I think that's pretty cool. So it tells you how you can be more economical to get better fuel economy. 
Now, this isn't really accurate because I was kind of uh, doing some, I, it's not turning on. This isn't really accurate because I've literally just been like driving this up and down the driveway for a bunch of videos. And so realistically, what I've been averaging is around 50 miles per gallon when I actually do drive it rather than just like backing in and out of the driveway and then blasting the AC for these videos. So fuel economy has been great with the Prius. Uh, and then as for the infotainment system, again, it's just, it's not the most beautiful, but it's practical. It's easy to use. Climate control, same situation. And then with the drive modes, you've got the EV mode and then you have the regular drive modes. Again, really easy. Now the shifter, this is a point of contention for some people. Here's what I have to say with the shifter. All you have to do is just make sure that you're firm when you do into the selection. So hold it down there for a second because what I've seen people do with these is they just kind of like slightly thrown in. And yeah, it'll work. But if you just want to guarantee that you go in, just hold it there for a second. And it's really easy to get used to in terms of the use on the shifter itself. You guys know I've got some beef with the wireless phone charging pad, but I mean, it is what it is. Heated seats, I haven't used those because, well, it's summertime. And it, I mean, right now, 91 degrees in the shade. Couple cup holders, which I mean, I haven't really used those all. Well, I guess I, you know, when I get my white, white girl drink at Starbucks, I, I use those a little bit. Uh, center console, it's funny that it's faced towards the driver. I, I, I don't know, I think that's hilarious. And then also, these have been useful for charging devices and everything. And then, if you guys haven't seen the window sticker, as in my other videos, here it is. You can see the total price on this XLE is $31,629, which again, I feel like is really solid from a pricing perspective. But Let's take her out, drive her, and cap things off. So let's get into going over my final thoughts here with the Prius from a driving perspective. So again, ride quality is great. It's a very smooth car, really comfortable. The seats are comfortable. Like everything about this car is very comfortable. It's just a nice driving experience. And on top of that, there's not a lot of tire noise. There's not a lot of wind noise. Just does a really good job. Now. Aside from all of that, as for the rest of the driving stuff, it actually gets pretty good fuel economy. Even when I'm hammering on it, I still seem to be able to average over 40 miles per gallon, um, as long as like the amount of uphill and downhill is pretty even, right? Right now with this driving portion, I've pretty much only gone uphill, and so fuel economy is a little bit less, and I've got the AC blasting. Uh, but again, fuel economy has been great. I think this is the, yeah, this is the only press car that I won't have to fill up once every other press car i've gotten so far i've had to put a little bit of gas in it whereas this i've been driving this around like i normally drive and i'm not even down a quarter of a tank like i haven't even used up a quarter of a tank so this thing just fuel economy is amazing on it and like i've said around town the acceleration is more than adequate like the zero to 20 and the zero to 40 is great it just once you get above 40 miles an hour definitely is a little bit lackluster but again that's not what this car is about this car is about being fuel economy conscious right practical all that normal stuff my phone keeps popping off the wireless phone charger again i had beef with that from my five things that i hate just they need to do something to hold your phone in um but yeah, aside from all that, it's a really nice daily driver car. And I understand why so many people have Priuses, right? It's really reliable, again, good fuel economy. It's relatively inexpensive to purchase. And again, the maintenance, since it's so reliable, is gonna be inexpensive as well. And so just a really inexpensive practical car. And so I feel like this is just kind of like the king of commuter cars because of the lack of expense and then also because of the really good fuel economy. And especially if you're just driving around town and you're not gonna do a lot of highway driving, this car is amazing but if you're going to do highway driving right you're going to get a little bit frustrated because it has like no passing power and all that but i mean it's kind of the expectation with this car i guess the other thing i want to mention is with the climate controls on this car no problem with like cooling down the cabin but your fuel economy does suffer quite a bit like right now i have it in eco mode with the climate controls but just having the fan speed up at a higher mountain and having the ac on and the fact that it's 94 degrees it definitely drops my fuel economy quite a bit. Like I noticed when it was cooler the other day, I was able to easily get over 50 miles per gallon. But when it's really hot on a day like this, I'll probably be closer to like 45 miles per gallon. So you lose a little bit when it's really hot and you have the AC blasting. Like there's there's a perceivable difference. Like my Ram TRX, for example, I know completely different vehicles. I'm just, I'm just saying this to make a point. My Ram TRX, if I have the AC blasting, I get like nine miles per gallon. If I don't have the AC blasting, I get like nine miles per gallon. So it doesn't change anything. Whereas this car, there actually is a, a perceivable difference with having the climate controls on or not having them on. So overall, really good car. And again, if you're looking for a commuter car, it's great. And this is what I'm talking about, like going uphill. 
I'm like full throttle. And yeah, it's just acceleration. It's a little bit lackluster, but it's kind of expected with the Prius. Uh, so yeah, my overall thoughts, if you're looking for like the king of commuter cars, it is the Prius. I'm giving it the title king of commuter cars because so far out of every commuter car I've ever driven, it is definitely the best from a comfort and fuel economy and practicality standpoint. I can't think of anything else that's more practical and more reasonable uh, from a pricing perspective and upkeep perspective and uh, just overall cost perspective. So yeah, if that's what you're looking for is to save some money, check out the new Prius.